Right? Time to get a new frame and web framing. Yay! We need to assess the frame to see actually how rotten it. Yeah. Actually. 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 Actually, this is actually wrong. It looks quite good at the bottom. It's just a little bit rotten no, at the top. No, no, don't say that. It's a bit rotten at the top. We need to have a look at the bottom to assess to see if we're going to pull the frame or not. So let's lift the floor up again. Gemma's favourite part of the day. So. Um. The take my soul out. And then um. What? At least you didn't, um, it didn't fill back up with water anyway, yeah, from last time. So we were sent this photo from Lynn and Ron, and it's a photo of Surinder on VJ Day plus one in August 1945. And it's her uncle, Uncle Cliff, who was actually the cook on board this boat. So it's so nice to be able to collect these bits of history. And, and builds up a bit of a timeline of where Surinder was, which has got me thinking about my own history. And I've started to look back at my family through my heritage. So it's a website where you can go on and you can trace back, you know, you can do a family tree. So I've started doing mine and I've traced back my family all the way to 1720. So, should we have a little look at my family tree? Since using my heritage, I have found 212 people in my family tree. It's such a great way to look back at your past, and my heritage makes it so simple to use. Sign up for a 14 day free trial and enjoy all the amazing features my heritage has to offer. If you decide to continue your subscription, you'll get 50% discount if you use the link in the description. It even has a collection of photographs and I've been lucky enough to find some photographs of my ancestors dating back to 1859 and you can use my heritage software to animate the photos to bring the people to life as you're looking at them. Instant discoveries are great. My heritage works in a way where it, it does a lot of legwork for you. So I have found loads of my ancestors by my heritage smart discoveries. You can also find discoveries through DNA testing. Who will you find through your DNA testing? Sign up for your 14 day free trial and get access to over 16 billion searchable historical records. Thank you to my heritage for sponsoring today's episode. <laughs> So where's our frame? So look at our frame. It's not perfect. Yeah, the frame is not perfect. So I think while we're here, we'll just change the frame. Makes sense. Do a proper job, eh? Let's give it a stab, do. It's not. That, it's not actually that bad. some extract this nail one.
pumps. Is that going in? You can see behind me. Wow. Can I suggest something? The light pumps. Well, I'm just going to feel the light pumps first. Oh, that's not working. Oh, that's not. Okay, come on, sorry. Get it out through that way. Yeah, it's try and remove as much as the copper as we can just so it doesn't interfere when we're putting the new frames and stuff back in but when we take the frame out there's a lot of them that we can remove and we can literally punch them out to the other side but there's a lot that we can't remove because they only actually go and um, they were put in when the frame and the stringers are done on the boat but before the original planking went on so we can't push them all the way through the boat because we don't want to wreck the planking so when we get to their ones like that we literally just cut them flush but any one that we can get out we do get out so we have got quite a pile of uh copper off cuts haven't we well this this here that's nothing i've got like a pile a proper pile of work so i really need to start making stuff out of it yeah i think i was thinking like ingots like 1392 on it or something like that so so we've what got so can you tell me the difference how do you know which one goes all the way outside and through the planking and how do you know which ones that go just through the frames i tell and you that frames? none of these go all the way outside yeah. because these were the web frames ones so there's actually less fixings on the frames behind the web frames but if you look here these ones go all the way through but they basically these small nails here are through the first planking because it's obviously a double diagonal so it's got a double set of planks so when they attach the first set of planks on um, it was just basically held on with some screws and some nails to basically hold position and then they went through and then nailed everything because because of the web they couldn't actually put a rove because they couldn't get to punch it because obviously something something was in the way so it wasn't actually as well fixed here as it was here but we're obviously going to be fixing it more structurally so, so as you can see the ones that have got the pointy edge were never roved were they no 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 so that's how we know they don't go yeah. all the way through but any ones with a square edge which you, we've had a lot of them on these frames yeah. they go do go all the way through and we can punch them out yeah 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 so now I've got the tedious job of cutting all these off now, trying to get them nice and flush so when our new frame comes in it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't interfere, so. It's good. What I find really interesting about the boat is how good the planks are. Do you know, like, I don't understand why the planks have survived and the frames haven't, do you know, like? Fantastic news for us, absolutely amazing news for us. So you've just bumped your head yeah. and you've also got like a kind of account on you're like a teenager. <laughs> so what happened there then? Well when you've got a blockage in the hoover, you put the pipe on the outlet side, then you can pump back and it pumped back and then it all sort of like <laughs> blasted everywhere and all over her. So it's so you clean never wash, don't you? Yeah I do. Oh well, all good. It's all good fun, isn't it? It is painting your boat time!
Do you know what paint that we're using? Because I know we had a question on the last video. So all the outside and the inside of our hull is all in Hempel multi coat. So Hempel multi coat. I love it. Actually, I really love it. Um, it's basically a primer and a top coat in one. Um, obviously, at the moment we're is that only why it's called multi coat. Multi coat. Um, we're only doing one layer because it's just sort of like a primer layer. So everything we'll have a second or maybe third coat down the line but yeah it's so easy to use it goes on really really nice so i recommend it yeah i've had nightmares in the past with paint yeah i like yeah this 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 stuff even i can use it get in when i let him when she lets me <laughs> right let's go and paint your boat so all the holes prepped now um We've now prepped down here, it's all painted. I've now cut the angle on the end of the frame. So this is out, this is the inside of the hull and that that now will meet the keel. So now I need to go outside. It's quite windy today, so it might be a bit of wind noise, I'm afraid. Um, need to go outside now and stick it in. It always works out really well when we're doing the frames and stuff because by the time we've got a frame out, got all the area prepped and got it painted, it's time for dinner. So we go and have dinner while the paint dries, so it works out really, really well. So, dinner time! I've already started. <laughs> <laughs> this is my starter. You ready? Mm -hmm. So I've got six copper nails and robes to do. I've just reset the camera, so let's see actually how long this takes us to do. The camera says it's been rolling for four minutes so it's took four minutes to put on six roves cut the nails back and peel them not bad going we're getting good at this
Anyway, right, so we've made our infills. Jim will pass me a sample. Where is it? Hold on. Oh, God, she's not even ready. Should we sack her? I don't know which ones we... Oh, that was the last one we done, so that'll be... Anyway, yeah, time. so basically our, our infills, uh, they basically spread the load through the knees and then a bit down the bottom, so but we're talking about up here at the moment, so the knees... That doesn't fit there, does it? Right, so... What we do is we put a bit of glue behind them, so it's like polyurethane marine sealant. Um, I don't mind it going on a painted surface because all it's doing is really gap filling. Um, even though it doesn't really suck into the wood, does it? The sealant. So anyway, it's bloody good enough for what for what we need to do. A lot of people have been complaining. Well, Gemma informed me that some people have been complaining about us doing it on a painted surface, which I get that, but... We're not using it to gl glue something together, <laughs> it's though. It's not a structural, it's a gap fill, and it'll have some, some gluing properties, but the original wasn't glued, was it, so... So it's not there as a glue, it's there to stop any water from being able to hold behind, so... I calm down, dears. And it'll glue it as well. <laughs> Tell you what. Why don't we stick some? What do you think about us thinking that? Should we do a test? Should we stick two pieces of painted wood together? And next week when we come back, we'll see how much it takes to actually pry it apart with that glue. Okay. Good. So I'm fixing these in with A4 stainless steel screws because stainless doesn't react with the oak because a lot of screws uh, corrode. <laughs> the oak but A4 stainless don't Oh we haven't mentioned how expensive they are. Oh no they are expensive. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of my gripes. <laughs> Instead of me stood around doing nothing, I may as well start working on the next frame. I don't think it'll be in today's episode. <laughs> So as Gemma stated earlier, what we're gonna do is glue some glue some painted and unpainted wood together. So if I do a control, so if I cut these at a given length and then we'll glue them together, but we'll make it so we can get a good lever on them to try and break them next time we come. I'm not getting me bald head in this actually. Okay, so painted, painted. 100 mil in. So, unpainted to unpainted. So we'll leave that bake now for about a week. My prediction there'll be no real noticeable difference. What's your prediction? My prediction is it's going to be a waste of good wood. 
We'll see, won't we? <laughs> Come back next week to find out what happens in our test. Do you know what that pile is? It's the last of our wood. Oh dear. So if we want to continue boat work, yep. we better go wood shopping. Yeah, you better like dig deep into your pockets, Joe. <laughs> oh, how it's much? Not, it's not cheap oak, you know. How much do you think we're going to need? Lots. A boat it's load. Quite a lot. <laughs> it's a boat load. <laughs> right, we need to find somewhere where we can get a good supply of oak. Do you want to come shopping with us? Yeah, bring them along. Right, let's go get in the van. Let's go see. Otherwise, nothing's going to get done next week. We've been on a hunt all morning to try and find some more oak and we've drove around loads of places and we've stumbled on like the holy grail of wood shops. So we are at Hardwood Sales in Liverpool and John is going to sort us out with our wood and he's also going to educate us because we've been told, John's, John's kindly told us, that the slabs of oak that we were buying last time it was causing too much hard work for us and it can be easier than that so we are going to buy a nice square planks of oak aren't we? Yeah, yeah all, all you need is just square edged European oak um, and it'd be a lot easier for us and cheaper. So cheaper, less time in milling it so it sounds perfect so should we go and get our wood walks? This place is absolutely amazing, it is massive, they have got every type of wood that we could possibly need so I think we'll get to know these guys quite well. Um, John, at the moment, is giving us a little tour around and I'm like a little kid in a sweet shop again. So, how long have you been in business? Uh, we've been in business for 17 years. Wow. Uh, mainly we do like high-end uh, uh, hotels in London, uh, mansions in London. Uh, we're just involved in Church's War Office, uh, Claridge's, the Dorchester, the Shard. Uh, a lot of our work is London, but also around the country. We're just doing a couple of castles in Scotland. Wow, um, so you're definitely the right person for us to come to, and you definitely sound like you know your stuff. I was doing try the World War II boat. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I love it here. Can I stay? <laughs> so John sorts us out with our oak. Um, that should get us through for a, for a good few months, I think. So we got some wood, yay! And I'd just like to say thank you to the guys at Hardwood Sales in Liverpool. They were absolutely fantastic. Now, this isn't sponsored or paid promotion in any way, shape or form. Um, after visiting the fair supplier who we usually get the wood off and them having none, we literally just went on Google Maps to try and find anywhere close to where we were that sold wood. And they came up and and we pulled up outside and they were a massive company and we didn't actually think that they'd deal with two little people just like us um, but they were absolutely incredible from the moment we walked in they were just so friendly so helpful and also the advice they gave us was truly great the wood that we've now bought should save us a lot of time in processing compared to the wood that we bought last time so if you're looking for wood for your boat, because I know trying to find decent places is really hard, they had everything. And I mean, every in the workshop was absolutely huge, absolutely huge. So give them a call and um, give them an email if you're looking for anything specifically, because they've got it, they've got everything. And um, so thank you so much, John. And it's so nice that we've now got a good relationship with a good supplier. So I know from now on, we're not going to have any issues getting woods for the boat, which is absolutely fantastic. And it's a bit of like a bit of weight off my shoulders. So thank you so much for watching today. And thank you to My Heritage for sponsoring today's episode. Cheers, guys. See you next week.